You said to me a moment ago, I was 10 or 11 before I could read a book properly, and, and most people would say, well, you know, I was a dyslexic kid. You notably did not say that. I've been diagnosed as having dyslexia, but I sort of think you get to choose your narrative in life. You get to pick what you say and how you say it. Yeah. And you can define yourself by things. You can be the kid who had dyslexia or you can be the kid that went to Cambridge. Well, you, you can also be both. You can be, yeah. which is a rather remarkable bit of your tale, which is the kid who had dyslexia who got four A's. I did well. It was ridiculous to talk about it. I show off about my A-levels on Radio 4. <laughs> Brilliant. My mother would be so proud. Um, but we're kind of working this thing out. I mean, as you say, you know, I say it in the introduction, it's my li and you said there, well, you know, people think my life sounded so easy, you know, brought up in Berkshire, went to Cambridge. Well, there's nothing about it that seems easy to me. If you were somebody who couldn't read a book till they were 10. I suppose it makes you sort of think early on, I can sort of do stuff. Exactly. I think sort of the great gift was I moved schools when I was 16. Right. And I think you become a prisoner of the past as a teenager. It's very difficult to kind of rewrite the book and go, well, I'm going to study hard now. And so you and sort of reinvented yourself, did you? Yeah, totally. I arrived at the school, there's another new boy in my class. I think we, we both come from sort of schools that aren't as good and we both kind of looked around and went, we could do really well here. And then there were two teachers that absolutely saw it. There was a guy called Mr Clay and a guy called Mr File that went, oh, you guys are really bright. You could do incredibly well. And we went, no, what? what who are you thinking of? And they went, yeah, no, you'd be fine. You applied to Cambridge, yeah. It was interesting, that thing of like self-belief. It often does come from someone else going you're going to be fine, just do this. But such a pivotal thing.